Thanks for joining us on this election day. I'm Darren Bob. We've got team coverage all across the area and the state tonight. We are going to begin in Little Rock where five news reporter Catherine Gilker following the governor's race down there. Catherine. I'm here at the State House Convention Center in Little Rock. The watch party for Republican candidate Sarah Huckabee Sanders will start here shortly. Earlier today, I was able to catch up with all three candidates about how they were feeling ahead of the polls closing. Libertarian candidate Ricky Dale Harrington Jr. tells me he is feeling good and hopes to get 3% of the vote or more. His objective is gaining ballot access for the state of Arkansas for the Libertarian Party. Democratic candidate Chris Jones spent the day campaigning in southwest Arkansas. He says he has put in the work and feels great. And Republican candidate Sarah Huckabee Sanders says she feels really good about where she is today, even casting her ballot here in Little Rock. She's confident tonight will end with a victory. We need to start working for the people of Arkansas rather than for political power and those type of things. We're going to have to start getting down to the nuts and bolts of running an effective society. So it's going to be cutting out some of the nonsense. I love to solve problems. I love to bring people together and I care about my home state. Uh, so this was an opportunity to say, y'all, we can address our issues like food insecurity, mental health, uh, drug addiction, infrastructure, education, and we can together seize opportunities. Phasing out the state income tax and rewarding hard work, those are not divisive issues. Those are anything but. Those are things that literally help bring opportunity to every single person. The doors here at the State House Convention Center open in less than an hour. Coming up at six, we'll hear from the other from the three candidates for governor. I'm live in Little Rock covering news where you live. Katherine Gilker, 5 News.